Now that we've had some practice with the digital inputs and digital outputs, we're going to um, test out the analog input next and scale an analog input. Um, so you go ahead and hit the offline button. Now that we're offline, I'm going to give this um, network a name as well as a description. Oops. So once I've given this network a name and a description, I could go ahead and insert a network after this one. So now I have two networks, older and untitled. So this untitled one, I'm just gonna call scale. I'm gonna give a description. So next we're gonna go and drag and drop a scale block into here. Make sure you put it right up against the power rail so it turns on this block. Um, so up at the top left, we have the scale configuration. So where does all this configuration gonna land? We know that everything in a SCADA pack lands in a Modbus register. So we need to pick which Modbus registers all of this element configuration will land in. You'll notice that this says 40,001 and down here in gray, it says 40,001 to 40,009. So if we go and change this to 40,101, you'll see that this changes to 40,101 to 40,109. So it moves where all these registers live. So we'll leave it in that register for now. We're not using very many Modbus registers, so I know that one's not being used, but typically you'd make sure it's not being used first. Next is it's going to scale the analog input, and now it's going to spit it out somewhere. So where do you want it to be spit out to? So we're going to change this to 40,110 instead of 40,010. Uh, when we go online, we'll, we'll see this as well. Um, next is the element configuration. We know from um, before we looked at all of our I.O., in our register assignment, we know that all of our analog inputs, the first analog input or analog input zero lands in 30,001. So we know we want to use that register. It, so we'll go back into our block. We know it's using 30,001, that's default, so that's perfect. Um, full scale raw input and zero scale raw input. So if you go to the help file, and what we're going to look up is we're going to look up the register assignment that we used, which is the uh, SCADA pack 350 5 volt 20 milliamp controller. Let's go ahead and oops, pull that up. So let's look up five. So we looked, I just looked up 5B slash 20 MA, and this will come up first SCADA pack 355 volt 20 milliamps. We know that four milliamps. Because we're not using voltage, so we could ignore those two columns, uh, we are using uh, analog to digital conversion. We're using um, an analog input. We know that we're using the 5 volt 20 milliamp, not the 10 volt 40 milliamp. So we could cheat. We know that 4 milliamps is 6554 and 20 milliamps is 32767. So go ahead and write that down. We'll be referencing that later in these uh, labs as well. So we click on the block. We know that our full scale raw input is 32767 and our zero scale is 6554. Next is um, the full scale output. We'll change this later, but just to begin with, we're just gonna pretend it's a zero to 100. Um, we'll just use zero to 100% transmitter. We'll change that to um, some different later. So now we've configured the block, we could go ahead and write this configuration. Once we wrote the configuration, we get at the monitor button. When we're monitoring, we can now right click on the block. It's pretty hard to diagnose what's going on with it. So we'll go ahead and monitor it as well. Put it into a new group. The group comes up here. One thing that I want to add to this group that doesn't come up when we monitor is the actual raw input of 30,001. So we'll go ahead and add that as well. So now I can see my 30,001 sitting at zero. So obviously my analog input is at zero. So if I crank that up, all the way up, I get 32767. I see my 40,010 is my full scale, it's 100. If I scale it all the way down, or not all the way down, if I scale it down to about 6554, I'll notice it will be about zero. It'd be pretty much impossible to get it right on 6554, but you get the gist of it. And then if I go all the way down, wrong direction, all the way down, it's negative 25. So that's how you scale an analog input in Telepace. 
This will be hard to troubleshoot because in your scale block here, none of these registers have tag names. So what we're going to do is put tag names in all these to make it easier to diagnose. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is go into the help and look up a, the, your scale block, a CAL block. It'll be the first thing that comes up. Open it up. In your scale block, it'll tell you that um, your configuration register will start here. The first register will be the input register. The next register will be the zero scale raw. Next register, register will be full scale raw, zero scale output, full scale output, output dead band as well as you'll have your scaled value output and your previous scaled value output here. So we want to give these all register tag names. So we go ahead and go back into Telepace. So in Telepace, I can go offline to do this. Um, when I do that, I will go and click on Tag Management. Under Tag Management, you'll see tag names from our previous lab. So you go ahead and add another one. We'll call this one the AI0 input register Oops. we know that that's 40,101 so you'll see a change right here in our block as well as we go back into monitor mode in the scale group we notice that 40,101 is right here um, so what I need you guys to do is go put the tag names into for every single one and we'll come back as well as you could bulk edit this. For this lab, we'll just do it manually, but later on in a lab, I'll show you guys how to bulk edit these. Now they've created tags for everything, your scale block, or, I'm, or should I should say your scale group should now look like this. One thing you gotta be aware of is some of these are floating points. This value here is a floating point, so you know that 40,104 and 40,105 are used in this tag. So in the next tag, you gotta go two more. So this is 40,106 and then it's 108. Same with the scaled output. It starts at 40,110. It's a floating point, so this one started at 40,112. You'll notice that from the help manual as well. It'll tell you your floating point. You'll notice that it uses two registers. This uses two registers because it's a floating point and so on. So just be aware of that. So now that you're all set up, you could go ahead and hit monitor, go back into our scale group. Now that we're in our scale group, we could go ahead and turn on, turn up that um, plot. Go all the way up to 32767. We see here that AI0 Ryan puts 32767, and we know that the AI scale value is 100. So we're getting the same value, it's just a lot easier to diagnose now that we can actually see the tag names of each register. One last thing we're going to do before we finish this lab is we're going to change the scaling. Initially, we did it from 0 to 100%, which you typically don't see. We're going to change the scaling to 0 to 6,000 PSI. So we'll go, go in our block here. We can just hit Edit off Online. We're going to make a quick change. We're going to click on our block. Instead of the full scale being 100, we're going to change this to 6,000. Now we've made that change. We go ahead and hit Monitor. Go OK. Yes. Now we go in our scale group and we can see right here, this is our scaled value. So we'll go ahead and crank this right up again. That's right down, sorry, crank it right up. You'll see you have your 6,000 PSI. And then if you bring it down right to four milliamps or 6554 in our case here, oops, you'll see it'll hover right around zero. So that's how you make a quick online change to change your scaling of an analog input block.